Hello friends, in this video we will discuss uh, projection of solid curl cylinder. In the previous video we discussed the same uh, solid cylinder but axis is inclined to HP. In this, what is the difference from the previous case? Here the axis is inclined to BP. At the same time, instead of uh, base on HP here, cylinder is lying on the ground with its axis inclined at an angle of 30 degree to BP. 30 degree to BP but cylinder is lying on the ground. How it's supposed to be? This is the cylinder which is lying on the ground. So in the front view I can see the one circle, top face of the circle and another uh, circle at the base is invisible from the front view. In the top view I can see the rectangle. Okay. With this we can proceed the solution. Draw XY first. We know the front view it is a circle being a circle what is the uh, dimension it is 30 mm diameter then uh, we can divide this circle into eight divisions or uh, four divisions or 12 divisions we can go for four a uh, four into eight so eight divisions and as usual we can give only four uh, useful notations one dash two dash three dash four dash is the visible uh, circle but one circle which is invisible at the base is a dash b dash c dash d dash that's why it is denoted in the bracket now you can extend the uh, projections before that what is the dimension 30 mm diameter it has to be denoted in the uh, phi symbol that that's that's indicates the diameter 30 now you can extend the projectors from uh, the boundaries of uh, circle and as well as the divisions whatever we made it okay from that we can complete the base after that we can uh, draw the axis what is the length of axis it is 50 mm what is the length of axis it is 50 mm we can complete the boundaries of the cylinder in the top view now this projectors has to be extended by means of thin lines reason behind that is what is the reason behind that it is a curved smooth surface we can only see the boundaries there is no intermediate surfaces like prism okay take uh, this a b c d if you see from here what is the top view i can see a d c but b is invisible that's why it is denoted in the bracket c is visible likewise one two three is 1, 3, 4 is visible but 2 is invisible as an observer standing here. You can give the notations in the top as well as a bottom face. Now you can extend these uh, divisions by means of uh, thin lines. This is the simple position of the cylinder. Now we can uh, go for inclination 30 degree with respect to VP. At any point and x y you fix a point and then you can make an inclination of 30 degree with rough thick la thin line. You can project this uh, base. What is this? This distance has to be reproduced here. While reproducing we can ensure this inclination line and this base should have 90 degree. This is 90 and it must not touch us the x y. We can uh, what is the axis length 50 now you can easily reproduce the same top view in step number three we can give the notations of the same uh, simple position top view now you can extend the projectors from uh, step one front view and step three top view both the uh, corners not corners here both the uh, smooth surface visible boundaries can join at respective projectors after that we can uh, proceed with uh, completion of this problem so here for an example this is a here also this is a dash so we can mark it as a1 both the projectors are meeting at this point a1 here it is 1 and 1 dash 1 1 dash we can complete likewise all the uh, Four notations 1 1 dash 2 1 dash 3 1 dash 4 1 dash 4 different points of the circle and base is a1 dash b1 dash c1 dash d1 dash why c1 dash alone in the bracket you see from this uh, 
position c is invisible that's why it is denoted in the bracket as c1 dash as an observer standing here he can able to see clearly this uh, face this face is uh, a circle after inclination it will looks like an ellipse it is clearly visible now what is the boundaries 2 1 dash b1 dash is the boundary 4 1 dash d1 dash is boundary likewise d1 dash a1 dash b1 dash is also boundary and the same procedure bottom half of the base is cb nothing but bc cd this is invisible from the front, uh, front view if you check from here this bottom half of the base is invisible it has to be denoted in the bracket before that we can join the visible boundaries by means of continuous thick lines then d1 dash c1 dash b1 dash is invisible d1 dash c1 dash c1 dash b1 dash this is bottom half of the base bottom half of the base is bc cd always invisible from this position okay i hope uh, you guys understood both the cylinder problems like in the previous video we discussed axis inclined to hp in this video we discussed axis inclined to pp and feel free to comment your uh, suggestions if you wish to see uh, the projection of solids prism and pyramid with different positions and different axis inclinations with respect to the horizontal and vertical plane you can refer the description box for the link with the respective questions.